as you can see, mm, she died. No, she first stamped and then died the yellow. And then what she's doing now, she marbled the fabric and then she's adding various colors to it. You see? So after everything, when it opens up the fabric, you see multiple colors. Mm? It's something splashy. You see, you see the colors flowing all over the fabric. Uh -huh. And what, uh, how she's doing it, you see, she's pouring the dice. She first poured the orange and now she's pouring the green on it. You see, so it will be three colorway. Uh -huh. So that's what she's doing. Can you do, can you do more than three? Yeah. yeah, she can do more than three. Even, yes, even four or five colors. She can do it. Mm. What's the difference between this and, yeah. and then batik. the batik? No, it's same batik, but it's a different process. You see, we do the stamp work. That is what you are seeing over there. You see. And this one is a splash form of batik. You see, that one we need various colors on it. So that is what so she's doing it now. Comes to cost, mm. Comparing this to the other one, which this one cost is more cheaper? than the other one. Yeah, okay. that one is simple stamping, then dyeing, then the waxing. But with this, you work on the fabric first. You dye, you bring it back, you marble, and then before add the colors. Comparing this to the mm. other one, which man is more let me say, attractive or attractive to the sure, sure, sure. You see, this is very, very, very attractive because you see, women like multiple colors. You see, so when it's they see colors, various colors like this, mm, it attracts them. to take place so after the oxidation has taken place you bring it to where there is hot water and then the hot water will help you remove the wax from it the wax you use whereby you are preventing certain areas absorbing the dye so that's what is happening here so from here we we'll just rinse it wash it nicely and then dry it when it is dry let's say about 90 percent dry you remove it and go and iron it. When you iron it, it gives you the smoothness. The surface looks very shiny and all that. You just put it. Your fabric is ready for this use. So the waxing, this process is called the waxing.
she's also doing her own design because we want to see their creativity we want to see their skill yes she created her own pattern and she wants to make sure that sometimes when you block and you didn't uh, you pick the wax and you are stamping and you didn't pick enough of the wax you get uh, bricks in your stamping so she's making sure that all the bricks are filled so she's making sure that she gets a nice and a neat way because you know students they will be assessed they will look out for all this and so she wants to make sure she's on course Okay, yeah. I want to know what inspired this uh, uh, This came from a cross. Uh, yeah. So I joined cross and you know we subtract and we add. So through that I came out with this design looking like a, a, a sword. Yes. It's, it's just one sword and I have to repeat it. same wax to redraw the whole thing from there she will paint we do ground dyeing we call it painting it's ground dyeing it's also another way of dyeing this time around you are not immersing the entire uh, shirt in a dye but this one some areas you needed to be dyed that area will paint them out from there you come and block it with wax again to keep that particular area you painted or you did the ground dying for then you work on it again then when you finish everything you come and die deeply now so when you finish this is the end result you get this is the result you get so all this area you are seeing here was painted or ground Block with wax. From there, we dye it in a dye solution, full dye. Then this is what we get. As compared to traditional printing. So if this one were to be a traditional printing, the design you are seeing on the drawing you are seeing here, it means we'll develop what we call screen for it. We'll do a screen and the cost. Well, I would say this one. Less than the printing. But with this, we are not going to involve too much of computerization. Yeah. So we do we do both, but we want them to know that even if they can't do the traditional means of printing, they can do this aspect of the the quality is perfect. This one, it will never fade. It will never fade. I don't know if you've noticed that these days people wear this t-shirt. It comes in two forms. There's one that looks very bright. And there's one that looks dull. But the difference is, some use uh, what we call reactive dye. With that one, the moment you mess it in water, the entire dye wash off. But the other one, we call it bad dye when you, you can use it as long as you want to use it. That's the difference. 